It's Friday the 25th of March 2016 and I'm at Sunningdale to do a walk along the London Countryway long distance footpath as far as Windsor about nine miles in total. Now walking along the A30 in Sunningdale After about 300 yards along the A30, the walk turns right into this main road. After a further 400 yards or so, the walk turns left into Onslow Road. At the end of Onslow Road, the London Countryway turns left along this path. After about 50 yards, the path bears right. At this junction, the way is ahead. The path joins this small road, Shrub Hill Lane. We rejoin the A30 where the route turns right for about 200 yards. The walk bears left off the main road, down there. Now heading through Coworth Park on the path. Uh, just to explain, the London Countryway is a 205 mile long, long distance footpath that encircles Greater London. It was established in the 1970s. It isn't waymarked though anywhere. Further on the bridle path joins this private road so it's not wet anymore. It was very wet and muddy between the A30 and here. Great views across Coworth Park. Quite an interesting building. And there's the clear way ahead. More wonderful views across Coworth Park. We now come to the A329 where the London Countryway turns left for about 150 yards and then turns right into Windsor Great Park. Now entering Windsor Great Park and the walk takes the path ahead. Signposts for the park. Heading through the woodland of Windsor Great Park, don't expect solitude here. The path comes to the banks of Virginia Water, where the walk turns right and follows the lake for a couple of miles. Great views across Virginia Water. This is looking in the opposite direction to which the walk goes. Heading along the path beside Virginia Water. As you can see, it more resembles Oxford Street than a footpath, but it's very, very pleasant. Great views across Virginia Water. Further on, more views open up across Virginia Water. More views of Virginia Water and of the path ahead. The path rises and there's a splendid view down Virginia Water. Here's Virginia Water Cascade.
After the cascade, the path rejoins the edge of the lake. And that's the way ahead. Looking up Virginia water from the path. Now at the totem pole, which was erected in 1958 and is 100 feet high, and it was erected to celebrate the centenary of the establishment of British Columbia as a crown colony. Another view of the totem pole. From the totem pole, the walk bears to the right up here. At this junction, the walk bears left up to there. towards Smith's Lawn. Now heading along the edge of the polo field. There it is. Now heading towards Cumberland Gate. I think I might have gone off route a bit, but the directions are very old. Interesting statue. Now at the Cumberland Gate, which is definitely on the country way as it's in the route description. Once through the Cumberland Gate, the walk bears half left through trees. Heading along this pleasant path through the trees of Windsor Great Park from beyond the Cumberland Gate. The walk now passes this pond on the left. And there's the wide track ahead. Definitely en route now. After the pond, the, the path becomes this wide grassy track and heads up to the Copper Horse statue. Up there you can see in the distance. And that's at the end of the long walk and that's what we will be taking into Windsor. Heading towards the Copper Horse statue along the wide grassy trod. It's quite wet in places as well. And now at the Copper Horse statue of King George III which was erected in 1831. About three miles to go now along the long walk into Windsor. And there's the panoramic view, you can see from the other side of the coffer horse. And as you can see, the long walk with Windsor Castle at the end. Panoramic view of the long walk. Which I'm just about to join. And now joining the long walk into Windsor. Good view heading along the long walk. Looking back to the copper horse along the long walk. The long walk goes through this gate. The long walk is intersected by the A308 main road. Getting towards the end of the long walk now. Now at the other end of the long walk, there's a view looking back the way I've come.
There's a view of the gate at the end of the long walk with Windsor Castle in the background. The walk now goes up there. There's left. Now heading up the high street in Windsor. Great view of Windsor Castle. And there's the high street. Pleasant fountains. And now at Windsor and Eaton Riverside Station and the end of today's walk along the London Countryway. Finally, here's the impressive interior of Windsor and Eaton Riverside Station.